Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. Today I am doing a build on my island of Coco Bell. And it's a tropical themed island. I'm just here at my beach. Um, and trying to think of what to do with this space for a little while. It's a tough place to decorate because it is one of the vertical beaches. I'll show it to you right up here. It's right up next to this rock on the back side of my island. And I have a few little items set up here, but I really wanted to do something with this space. And um, as I've said before, I tend to struggle um, to find what I can put in these vertical beaches because they're sort of an, an awkward size and you can't terraform the edges. So I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna do an outdoor spa. Um, it sort of goes along with the theme of my island, which is a tropical resort. So um, yeah, I decided I'm gonna start with these custom design paths. Um, if you've seen my video about building a juice bar, I use this same wooden plank board in that build. And I also have this really cute spa sign that I found um, when I was looking in the customization portal. Um, so yeah, so let's get our island designer, get our helmet on and we'll get started. So I decided what I wanted to do first is I wanted to just sort of cover this whole space including some of these areas that are a little bit uneven with um, the wooden plank board custom path. So I'm going to start just by filling that in. Um, now this path, as I said in the other video, I love it. It's got this really cool front piece that goes all across. Um, there's three different pieces that go with the front edge and then some three different middle pieces as well, but it has this really cool 3D effect. So I decided I wanted to reuse it again just because I really like it and it also adds a little bit of consistency to my island builds. So first I went ahead and placed down the front right corner and now I'm going to go ahead and place down the front left corner. I'm just sort of marking out trying to decide how far I can make this so that it's a straight line going back on this side. And then we're going to switch to the middle front piece. And you can see when this when this custom design comes together it really does have a cool 3D effect. And now we're going to switch to the middle piece. This one has a three piece set where you fit the one, two, and three pieces together in lines. Um, I do it vertically. That's how I believe the creator intended it. Um, it seems to fit to get together really well when I do it that way. So we're going to start with one and then for the next row, we'll switch to the second middle piece. And I'll be sure to list um, the the creator information in the description on this video for you so that if you decide you want to give this pattern a try you can. It's a really cool rustic worn wooden pathway so I really like the look of it. And then we'll switch to number three. So I'm just sort of trying to figure out how to fit some of this. The parts that are up against the rock um, that don't have a full square, there's no way to put a custom path down there. So usually what I end up doing for builds like that is I do try to use placed pieces to sort of hide those spots just so it's not super obvious that it's uneven. And then for this one, I'm just going to switch back to the first middle path. Just like that. And then we'll go back to the second one. We're just basically alternating for the middle parts just to sort of get the wooden planks to fit together so that they look right. And then for this last strip over here, I'm gonna do number three and I think I'm only gonna be able to fit maybe one other square in this spot, so. Okay, so we've got our foundation laid down. Um, I just like how it looks. It's sort of like a deck, um, which is what I wanted for this spa. So what we'll do now, I'm going to turn this off um, for fashion's sake. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then let's just go over what we have in our pockets for this build today. Quite a few items. We've got a wedding arch, um, a bamboo bench, one, two, three, four of the bamboo stools, a pine bonsai tree, a turkey day hearth, 
a bamboo speaker, a fan palm, a bamboo basket, a rattan towel basket. Actually, we have two of those. Our cartoonist set, a customized stall, a nail art set. Um, we've got three plain sinks, actually, an incense burner, two of the tomati beds. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Fragrant sticks, a bonsai shelf, bamboo partitions. Looks like we have about four of those. And then a couple of little outfits to lay down at the end. I've got a cucumber pack and a bath towel wrap. We'll use those later. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, I think usually when I'm doing builds, I like to do the back part first just to sort of um, frame it in and then figure out how much actual space I have to place the rest of the item. So I'm gonna start by putting down these bamboo partitions. These are crafted items and I'm using just the basic green color today. You, ca you can customize these with the customization kits to be either like a light brown or a rich dark, um, I don't know what you call it. It's sort of like, I think it's called smoked bamboo. It's a gorgeous color, but today I just wanted to do the basic green. So I'm just basically um, laying these out to be the back part of the spa try to sort of cover up that space that was uneven. And the same for this one, you can see when I place it down, it sort of just covers up that gap between the, the wood plank path and the rock. That way it looks less obvious that there's a space there. And then this little space over here, um, I think I'm gonna do the bonsai shelf just because it's the perfect size to sort of put here. Um, it doesn't fit perfectly, but it'll be enough that I think once we fill it in with more furniture, um, again, it sort of camouflages that awkward space on the side. And then I'm going to put a plain sink down. Um, this is a crafted item too, and I customized it to be this darker brown um, with the green vessel sink. I just thought it was perfect for the colors that we're using for this build. I'm gonna put a little bamboo stool here in the middle. And let's do our other plain sink here on this side. And I did them the same just so that they would coordinate. I think, let's see, just to put some decorations back here, let's try, I think I've got some fragrant sticks somewhere in here. <laughs> there they are. We'll put these down. These, this is the green color. There are a few different colors of this item. I think there's a brown and a blue. Um, but I picked the green for this one since it sort of matched. And then the, the little bed we have here. I love these beds. They're so cute. I'm going to try to put it this way. I know this seems way out of the way, but I wanted to try to face it the right way. And I think it'll be easier to put down if I put it here and then push it back. Is it a tatami bed? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. <laughs> I probably didn't say that right, guys, <laughs> so I, I apologize. If you know the correct pr pronunciation, if I've got it wrong, let me know in the comments. There we go. So we're just going to push that back, and then I think at the end of these, I wanted to put a bamboo stool, again in the green, and these are customizable to be the light brown and the dark brown as well. I think it's dried bamboo or smoked bamboo. This is just the original green. And then I'm gonna set a rattan towel basket on each of these, just cause it makes sense that if you're at a spot, you'd have a towel <laughs> readily handy. There we go. And then I think, let's see, over here, I kind of wanted to do like a little um, nail area where you would get your nails done. So I have this stall. Um, it's customized with this adorable palm leaf design. Um, I've got, I can definitely link the creator information for you in the description. I love it. It's so cute. It's perfect for a tropical island and it serves so many purposes because it's, um, you know, it goes with everything on a tropical island, I feel like, so... We're gonna sit down a, an incense burner. 
again in the green just to match but there's lots of colors of that and then I've got this cute little art uh, nail art set that I found at Nook's Cranny the other day and I've been saving it and I thought this would be the perfect build for it So then here, I think I'm going to put down my last plain sink, just because I know, like, not that I get my nails done very often, but when I have, um, I know at some point during the process, they do have you wash your hands a couple times, so I thought that would be perfect. Put a little stool here for people to sit on while they're getting their, their nails done. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this bamboo basket down. This is another crafted item. And I actually customized this to be um, the smoked bamboo color. Just for a little color variation. I think over here what I want to do, I wanted to create a little bit of an entrance. Similar to if you were to go to a spa where you would check in. I've got this turkey day hearth now. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm a huge fan of trying to reuse items. This is actually, it looks like a fireplace, as you can see. This is from, um, this is from the turkey day event back last November in 2020. And I thought, hmm, maybe I could reuse that. And I thought, you know, if I turn it to the side like this, um, when you're outside, you can't spin the camera to the opposite end. So I thought perhaps I could use it. There we go. Um, and from the side, you know, you can see the green, which goes perfectly with this build, but you really can't, you'd have to really look to tell that that's a fireplace. So I figured it would be a great secondary use for this item. Then I've got a cartoonist set that I'm putting here. I wanted it to sort of look like a sign-in sheet. And then I've got a pine bonsai tree that I crafted here just to set out. And of course we're going to need some relaxing music, so I crafted a bamboo speaker, again just in the regular green. Um, one of my favorite songs in this game is Steel Cupcakes. It's just so peaceful and serene, and I think that's probably what I'm going to register on that speaker because I think it would be perfect for a spa. And over here I'm going to put a bamboo bench. Um, just wanted to create a little bit of a waiting area space so that if you're waiting your turn to go to the spa, there's a little place to sit or wait. And then I've got this, oops, this fan palm plant. I'm just trying to think of elements that I can put in here that despite the fact that this build is outside to sort of make it look like it's a an indoor space, if that makes sense. <laughs> And then for the sign in the custom design section, I have this super cute spa sign. It's sort of like a rustic board um, spa sign. And I'll put that information in the description for you so that if you want to try it out, you can too. And I'm just setting it down as a painting. That way um, I can, it'll have its own little stand when you set it out. And then last but not least, I've got this wedding arch. This is actually left over from last year's, oops, last year's wedding event in June with Reese and Cyrus. I'm really excited that this event will be hopefully coming up again in June. And it sounds like they've added a few new items to the event. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, this one is customized in the garden, I believe. I believe it's the garden color scheme. There's cute, chic, and garden. And this one is the garden. It's sort of like a green and yellow. Just sort of moving this around so that it fits up a little bit closer. So bear with me here. I think I'm going to have to replace that just a little bit more in the center. There we go. <laughs> and push this sign a little closer just so you can see it as you're walking up. So yeah. And of course, we can't forget. Let's see. When you go to the spa, you've got to have your cute little cucumbers for your cheeks and your eyes. And then I've got a little bath towel wrap. <laughs> now what you could do is drop these items in the entrance. That way if you have visitors at your island, they can pick up those items if you drop them. And then they can wear them to come um, hang out at the spa, take some pics, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this so this is the outdoor spa. I hope you guys really like it. I like the way it turned out. I think it's a nice relaxing space.
give it a try. <sighs> so peaceful. <laughs> Hearing the ocean waves and just relaxing in the sun. <laughs> So anyways, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you think. And yeah, thanks so much for playing today. I'm so glad you decided to join me. And I hope I'll see you in the next video really soon. Have a great day, guys. Take care.